Okay, welcome back to the channel. We're walking around the block. It's quarter past six in the morning. Um, we're going to do a bit of an interview tonight, so it might be the worst video you've ever seen in your life because it means me trying to remember what questions I wanted to ask. We're going to go and meet Simon Bottomley, Norfolk Angling Club. Um, but yeah, we've got to go to work first and do other things, but um, I'll bring you back on the beach. Well, welcome back. We're back on the shingle. We're at Kellin tonight, halfway between Weybourne and Cly on the North Norfolk shingle. We've come to meet Norfolk Angling Club. They've got a bit of a social on tonight, a bit of casting practice and a, just a general mess about. Um, but I've come to meet a guy called Simon Bottomley. He's been running the club for a few years now. He was a pleasure angler and um, I think he must have been roped into running it at some point. He's a bit of an IT guru um, and he's a bit of an expert at report writing. Um, so we're going to go down, find him on the beach, have a chat with him and find out what he's done to um, continue the resurgence in match fishing on this coast. He's getting some really good turnouts on a Monday night. Um, let's go and have a chat and see why he's so successful or why the club's so successful. I'll bring you back. Well, I've wandered along, I've found Simon, um, but he's a bit busy to talk at the moment, so we'll see him uh, reel this in. Fishing a fair way out, so this might take a minute or two. But as I was wandering along, I saw something flipping in the bucket. Flounder, so he's already had one. This looks like it could be another. Doesn't look like you're going to have time to do an interview tonight, Simon, if you keep uh, pulling them out like this. Yeah, it's, it's a squeaky reel will give it away. Uh, squeaky reels, they're um, par for the course, mate. Bit of weight there, something on there. Uh, that's another flatty. Considering the time of year and um, the clarity of the water, we're in bright sunlight. It's been about 35 degrees all day. Um, you've had two casts and two fish, so I um, thought you weren't an expert, but um, no, <laughs> I don't know, there's nothing wrong with that. What is it, another flounder? Yeah, but as long as it beats Jeremy's 29, I'm not competitive. <laughs> well, lovely fish. Look at that. Lip hooked as well. It's a place, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cracking fish. Yeah, it is. Sure it is. We'll analyse it more properly in a minute. Look at that. It's a monster. Yeah, that's a place. 36. 36? Wow. Must be a personal best, isn't it? That is, yep, yeah, that's absolutely superb. So. Well, I mean, to do that on camera, that's something special, Simon. Well, it was organised. Organised, <laughs> yeah. Well, no. well, we will have a chat. Let's just let you get this back in the water and, um, and then we'll get down to business. But I was telling everyone that you're a bit of a pleasure angler and, um, you know, just did it for the fun, but you're clearly not. You're clearly yeah. just here to assassinate you saw everybody the else. No. We <laughs> Well done, mate. So there they go. Back in the sea for another day. Well, that's the first place I've seen along this beach for a long time, and a cracking flounder to go with it. So the water's starting to come up now. We're about an hour and a half into the flood. Um, so to see those two fish, amazing, really. Well done, Simon. I've managed to grip Simon um, away from his rods for five minutes. Uh, very good start to the session, Simon. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's a few questions I want to ask, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, firstly, we'll kick off. Why, why would an angler benefit from joining an angling club? Well, if you take tonight as an example, you've got a mixture of people, all from different backgrounds, who are all willing to share their own knowledge and camaraderie and a good excuse to get away from Coronation Street on a Monday night. Yeah, well, I agree with that. And, um, and you just have to, you know, just listen in the background. How relaxing is that? In all these years of mindfulness, this is mindfulness. Yeah, you're right. 
What happens on a on a typical match night? I mean, I've been on a few myself, but um, it can be intimidating for people if they've never been before. So, you know, is there anything you can say that would, um, you know, relax anyone that's got a few inhibitions about, you know, coming on a coming and trying a match, for example? I think the simple advice is we were, we all were newbies once, so come along. You will always, if you're, the, if you're a newbie, will be assigned one of the uh, regular anglers who knows the ropes and will actually fish side by side with you to show you how to score, how to fish the beach to some degree, share their knowledge. So really there's no reason why people can't just turn, turn up and enjoy the experience of fishing on the North Norfolk coast, frankly. Yeah, well you've almost no answered my next question because it was, uh, have you got any tips for a new member coming to fish their first match? But, um, you know, you've really summed it up, haven't you? Because well, the one it's thing a friendly I would, club. I would, I would say one, one thing is that, because, is to use some of the information that's around you. So look at the Facebook page with all the match reports. That'll give you a bit of background, because that's, that's information. That's, that helps you understand what's going on. And also, if you go on our website, uh, Norfolk Angling Club, and search the beach that you're going to be fishing on. It will give you all the history of the matches on that beach. So information is power. So when you come to that match, you don't need to feel underconfident because you know what that beach will do. You know who's caught what. And you just talk to people. It's just come along and enjoy yourself, really. Yeah, no, that's certainly been my um, experience as well. So, you know, money matters, Simon. So how much does it cost to join Norfolk Angling Club? Well, for the last two years, we've kept it at £10, and going forward into 22, 23, will be also £10. So, and then £5 for each match. Yeah, so you're not talking um, life-changing sums of money, no, are no, you? The, 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 the £10 goes towards insurance for the club. So tonight, we've got, say, 12 anglers. If we have a problem, we've got insurance to cover us and, le and legal fees and whatever and it pays for uh, such venues as the Kelling, Kelling Muckleborough uh, uh, coastline that we've got access to and, and trophy night and presentation evening. Yeah and you also pay a bit out on the night don't that's you it, for winners and um, yeah, biggest flat fish and biggest round fish. Well, which... the, the, the five are on a night so there's ten pound to join the club which is usually paid after the second match but each match is a fiver and if you take a fiver one pound goes to the winner one pound goes to the biggest flat, one goes to the biggest round, one goes to, as a lucky peg, and one pound goes to the club. So if you've got 15 people, then it's 15 pounds for the winner, 15 for the biggest flat, 15 for the biggest uh, round, and 15 pound for lucky peg, and 15 pound for the club. Yeah, no. Easy, easy, yeah. easy maths. Yeah, no, that's not So you're bad. not going to do it well, for you the say money. easy maths, I think that's the one thing about match fishing. I mean, everyone knows here, when I get a match card, that's a you know, a, an event in itself trying to add a 30 whiting up, but um, yeah, that's another story. Um, but um, the, the club's going from strength to strength, Simon. I mean, it, it's a lot to organise um, and you're a volunteer. So ultimately, sort of what motivates you to get into it? I suppose you were sort of press ganged into sort of taking the helm as it were, but you're in it. So, you know, you must want to do it. Well, I enjoy it. I, I, I would come fishing on the Monday night anyway. So a little bit of administration in the week isn't too difficult. Yes, you know, there's always little niggles with a group of 15 to 25 people, but life is like that. But the, the positives outweigh any negatives. So I just enjoy it, and it's great to see everybody mucking in. I think that's the key. You know, tonight I'm not organising, one of the other guys is organising. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a club I'm... without a committee. Yeah. But actually everybody's on the committee. I met Nathan in the car park. He's one of them anglers you don't really want to get pegged next to because he's the sort of person that's just going to chuck a whole squid or something out and, and catch a 12-pound yeah, yeah, yeah. smooth hound and obliterate everyone in the match. But, um, but yeah, and, you know, going on from, from Nathan, we've got quite a diverse, um, I think that's the right word, diverse yeah, yeah, selection yeah. of um, anglers and some characters in among them, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, but, absolutely. But as um, you know, these little videos progress, I'm hoping um, you know, I'll get pegged next to a few of them and um, their personalities will come across. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a brilliant interview, Simon. I mean, it's, it's really sort of allayed, you know, really some of the questions that I've been asked and, you know, can't always um, 
articulate the answers as well as you just have but um, I mean tonight's a good example you've set up a little social or someone has um, and these people probably wouldn't have come pleasure fishing to be honest with you I mean the, the sea's um, you know, flat calm um, bright sunshine crystal clear and yet you've managed to pull out a, a 36 centimetre place um, and a flounder both went back in the sea both were lip hooked and um, and lived to fight another day but these are fish that you you know people wouldn't encounter because they wouldn't be bothered to try and fish for them and I suppose you know match evening it gets everybody out and if there's nothing happening it doesn't matter overly and you know sometimes you can have the best fishing that um, you know you can experience we've got a lovely bit of coastline along here and um, you know it's, you it's can wonderful always to see. You can always tell when it's been a good match because the quality of the photography is rubbish. <laughs> yeah, when, when, well. when the photography is improved and lots of uh, sunsets, you know that we haven't been catching much. <laughs> yeah. So, well, so well, go on the website and have a look at the uh, the various match reports, and you'll soon get the, get get the drift of that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, and one thing that's right. I've watched several other anglers, and you know, they're they're going on about their beaches covered in litter. Um, after all your matches and every time we come down here actually you walk along this whole stretch and there's no litter anywhere is no, it? A, no. You know the people are very very respectful That's I mean I know we've got the holiday season coming up well, and there'll be loads. Home. You must take your, must take your rubbish home. Yeah and, I mean there's, there's a lot of people on holiday in Norfolk um, in the coming weeks and um, there'll be a lot of people after the mackerel on the shingle but um, you know Simon's right you know let's just respect what we've got and keep it in in, in the condition that it is, it's, it's a beautiful place, but um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, my camera work is dodgy at the best of times, but I hope, <laughs> I, I, I hope, um, you know, a, a short video yet again, but I hope it gives um, the viewers a, an insight into what um, you know, Norfolk Angling Club's all about. And um, you know, if you fancy coming to along to one of the matches, um, how do they contact you, Simon? How do they make um, you well, make contact really and get on their first match? Well, you, you could go into the Right Gear uh, angling shop in West Runton and just say, I would like to fish a match, that's one way. Or you could go on our Facebook page, ask to become a member, and when we post a match, just say you're going or interested and just get in touch with somebody. And cut the best thing is, don't just read about it or look at all the results, come to the match and experience it. I've been a newbie once and I thought I'm never going to enjoy this but actually one guy took me in hand and I'm still here four years later. Yeah, Brilliant. You, you certainly are. Yeah. So um, yeah, touching on one other point that someone yep. asked me to mention was bait. Um, if, um, if they can't locate their own bait, they don't dig their own bait and they haven't got a fish and tackle shop near where they live, are you able to sort it out in-house so they can turn up to the match and expect to be fishing? Yeah, well typically we fish on a Monday night, which is our sort of USP really. But um, normally people order bait through uh, Dean Conway and the uh, Right Gear Angling Shop. I collect it typically on a, on a Monday morning. We keep it nice and cold and when people turn up for the match on Monday night it's there they pay me I collect the money and we give it back to Dean so it's a bit like uh, Amazon for fishermen <laughs> yeah, yeah and it works and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have many years to continue that yeah well thanks very much for your time yeah, Simon um, yeah hopefully that's of use to some of you I've chucked my rod out now I'm not expecting that to do anything but um, you never know your luck as the tide comes up we might be able to get something um, there's a few anglers down there now having a having a bit of a bash trying to get some mackerel and bits and pieces but um, yeah this is the next instalment of our of our little series um, so I hope you enjoyed it um, and if you can support Norfolk Angling Club or any of the other clubs across the country please do so um, and a like and subscribe would be really appreciated thank you very much cheers bye bye